Discovery is on the pad with about a minute, 10 seconds left to go before the launch. We'll look in at the final countdown. As you can see, a minute, one second to go. One minute and counting. And the heaters on the booster joints are being deactivated at this time. Crew of seven astronauts has been on their backs for more than two hours now. I'm sure they're ready for this mission to get underway. And um, as it does get underway, we will uh, provide our continuing live coverage seconds. from the Kennedy go. Space Center. I go for our auto sequence start. We'll listen now through the launch. The voice of uh, Mission Control today is Bruce Buckingham, by the way. His is the voice you'll be hearing. CLS is go for auto sequence. And we have a go for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds. 20. 15. 15. 12. 10. 10. 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. We have three main engines up and running. 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery and the first International Microgravity Laboratory. Houston is now controlling. Discovery and Roo crew are rolling on course. Discovery roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Roll maneuvers complete, placing Discovery and crew heads down and on the proper heading. Engines at 100%. Engines throttling back now to 70% to help maintain optimum aerodynamic conditions as Discovery accelerates through the dense lower altitudes. All systems performing well. Throttled down and performing well. Good, good hydraulics, good electrical systems. Altitude now 23,000 feet. Time one minute. Three engines throttling back up. Three engines now at one, 104. Discovery Houston, your go throttle up. Check hot mic. Discovery now traveling at over 1,000 miles per hour, altitude 65,000 feet, downrange distance 8 nautical miles, all systems performing well. Time 1 minute 33 seconds. Next milestone in this climb to orbit will be uh, solid rocket booster burnout and subsequent staging at about 2 minutes 6 seconds. SRB chamber pressure tailing off. And we have separation. Discovery now flying free of the boosters and under the power of its own main propulsion system. Second stage guidance now in control. Discovery now traveling over 2800 miles per hour, altitude 178,000 feet, downrange distance 36 what nautical amazing miles. amazing picture that is. The Discovery two solid Houston, rocket boosters just tumbling end over end as they move away from Discovery. It's uh, operating under its own main engine power now. All the main engines appear to be working just uh, very well from what we can hear from Mission Control. Um, I don't know about you, Bob Gain, but as I watch uh, pictures like this, I have to hold my breath till this thing gets into orbit. That'll be another couple of minutes, but it looks like the... Uh, the most dangerous part of the flight is over. The astronauts are up. Uh, they are in shape. And from everything we can hear from Mission Control, uh, it's just going to be a, uh, a beautiful picture mission today. Bob? John, I don't think we can help it. I think the whole world collectively holds its breath ever since the Challenger explosion until we see the shuttle all by itself well on its way and the SRBs gone. <laughs> 